I'm sure uh, many of you will recognise the 80s hit from the pop band Duran Duran. Perhaps something you didn't know, this, uh, however, is that the band's original guitarist, Andy Taylor, was sadly diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer around four years ago. Now, he revealed the news uh, just two months ago in a letter read by the group after he was forced to miss the band's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame due to treatment. Earlier this afternoon, we had the pleasure of speaking to Andy, didn't we? And we started by asking him all about his diagnosis. When I was out jogging, and I started to notice what you would think was a kind of, you know, maybe arthritic sort of pain. You know, I'm in my, I'm 56 years old at the time. And, um, and I never thought more of it than that. But you actually, may actually need a PSA test because it could be the onset of, uh, of prostate. I started having these symptoms didn't recognize them for what they could be. And then I noticed on my um, neck, I had um, what felt like tumors. It was about four and a half years ago. So I went and had biopsy done and um, I came back for the results. And you, you, no one could be prepared for mm. that this day. And, and, and actually the consultant was a little late and he sat down and says, oh, I'm so sorry, so sorry. And I thought he was apologising because he was late. And uh, he said, it's, it's prostate. I'm like, yeah, well, my dad had that. And, I, you know, I understand. He said, but it's stage four, metastatic, which is a death sentence. Andy, you're giving a really powerful message about early diagnosis and the importance of that. This is something that you've been living with privately for a while, for a few years. What was it like yeah. knowing that that was going to go public and that everybody would know? Were you nervous? Were you anxious? Were you happy that you could now talk about it? Well, I was due to um, rejoin Duran Duran to uh, pick up our... We, we were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Los Angeles on November the 5th. I, I did a lot of preparation, I've got fabulous people great doc I, I just didn't have that Ooh, you know and it, i was like whoa um because you you lose all of your testosterone in treatment i mean just that in itself i bet most men don't have a clue so uh, because i had to miss the ceremony <laughs> quite a public event it was on hbo <laughs> um it's just funny how these things collide so i wrote a letter to the band just explaining the situation and they very graciously generously uh read that out before the ceremony and um that's that's when it went public um but <laughs> I, I didn't have any, no plan, it wasn't something. And then uh, afterwards, the, you know, the amount of love and support and offers of help. Mm -hmm. But I also realised that by talking about it and, you know, Duran have quite a large female fan base, so it's like your partner, <laughs> your boyfriend, give them a nudge, you know, go and get a test. Andy, can I ask you, because cancer is something that affects so many people, I'm sure many of our viewers are either experiencing it or, or you know, have uh, knowledge of it in their own family and among their friendship groups as well. Uh, last week on the programme, we were speaking about the f footballer uh, Gianluca Viali, and, and he said, when he spoke about the cancer that eventually took his life, he said, sometimes you have to make a journey with an unwanted companion. And having that mindset really helped him. I wonder what you are thinking about and how you approach that mentally? I, I thought about getting the most out of life. Well, four years ago, there are treatments now that four years ago there wasn't. And I just thought about getting them. This isn't going anywhere. Then it was very likely that you, I, I wouldn't get through it at all. Now there's some new, there's some new treatments that can help me. 
and I just thought I'm going to live life. I've made three albums since then. I uh, I went on the road with uh, some friends of mine at the, the band Reef and played some shows, which were fantastic. And um, when the pandemic was over, we had a huge 61st birthday party because I missed my 60th. A and I mean, I often say to people, it's like uh, you know, every uh, 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 every minute's like an hour, every day's like a week. You know, you, you really want to get the most out of life. And <laughs> I've been very fortunate. I've had so much in terms of, you know, living the, the dream. Um, but because I do music, I think um, that's probably given me a really, uh, it's really helped me to live with the pessimism of a, an incurable disease but the optimism of creating music. Andy Taylor, um, we really appreciate your openness and your honesty and, and taking the time to, to speak to Five News. Hopefully everything that you've said will inspire and encourage people to just go and get that check, go and get checked. But thank you so, so much for your time today. Thanks, Andy. No problem. I hope, um, I hope people do.